Hi guys, so today we are going to be drawing Mr. or Mrs. Shapes the Robot. So it's your choice if you want to make it a boy or a girl. But as you can see, I even have an extra one down here. So we're going to be drawing this guy made out of shapes. And I'm going to show you how. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to put my guy right there. And I like the purple one. I think. And actually, we'll do this. Ta -da. We'll go to the colored one later. All right, so now I'm going to get my piece of paper. I want to make sure my paper is portrait, not landscape, up and down, not left and right, vertical, not horizontal, okay? And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a head shape. So as you can see, it's this rectangular shape up on the top. So I'm going to draw a line going across like this. Ta-da! And you want some space up on the top because he's got this little antenna here. And then I'm going to make a line going down and another line going down. You want enough space because he needs teeth and eyes in here, so make sure it's long enough down here, okay? All right, and then I'm going to connect the bottom. And ta-da, I made a rectangle. Now up on the top, I'm going to do like a rainbow line. Woo! And then a line going straight up. And a little circle up at the top. Dee -dee. All right. Now my robot guy needs some ears, so I'm going to make a line going out here, a straight line going out there, and I'm going to make little rectangles for his ears. There you have it. And then in the inside, we're going to make his eyes. So he has like these big ovals for eyes. And then he has a nice long line here, straight line. And I'm going to make a line going down and a line going down. And I'm going to connect again. And there's the rectangle shape. I'm going to put a line here and a line there for his teeth. And he needs eyeballs. So I'm going to put a circle here and a circle there. Now you can color it in completely or leave a little white to make sure he's got that little reflection look. Or you can color it in completely. So, like, I colored on in completely this one, but this one I did not. So it's your choice. Now, if you see, he has three long rectangles for his neck. So I'm going to make one, two, three. My rectangles are a little wonky this time, but, hey, that's okay. Now we got to make his shoulders from his body. So... What I want you to do is, is you're going to go right to the corner of this last rectangle that you made, and you're going to go straight all the way out past his ear. Same thing on the other side. Straight all the way out past his ear. Now we want to close this in and make a nice big square rectangle. So I'm going to make a line going down, and another line going down. And now I'm going to connect the two, going across, just like so. Now inside, what I would really like you guys to do, so since we learned about organic shapes, which are freeform shapes, and geometric shapes, I would like you to, to put two freeform shapes in there, two, geome or two free organic, and then two geometric. So as you can see, this is a freeform, geometric, freeform, geometric. I don't care which way you do it, just make sure you have two of each, okay? So I'm going to do a freeform object shape right here. And I'm going to put a geometric shape here. And another geometric shape here. And then another freeform shape right there. Ta-da! But you can do whatever you like in there as far as shapes. Just make sure that there's four of them and that two are freeform and two are geometric. Now, I'm going to have this arm going up. So what you want to do is you want to go to the corner here, and you're going to just curve all the way up and stop right about at his ear. Now I'm going to connect this arm, so I'm going to go down below here and go up. And I'm going to connect it. And now I'm going to make his hand. His hand's basically like a rainbow line or the letter C, big C. And then just put a line down and a line down here, and then connect it with another C. I'm going to put some straight lines here to make them look more like squares. 
And now we're going to do the other arm, but this arm's going down, as you can see. So the way we want to do that is go to this corner, <coughs> excuse me, and you're going to curve down. And then right underneath, you're going to curve down again. And you want to make sure you stop at the same length as this other one so you can connect. And then we're going to add those little blocks again in there, two lines. So same thing for his hand over here. You're going to want to do the big letter C, rainbow line, straight line in, straight line in, letter C. So now he needs his legs. And as you can see, his legs are two squares. Okay, so you're just going to do a line down, line down, and connect. There's one square. Line down, line down, connect, two squares. Now he has his knees, they're like these long rectangles. So I'm going to make a big rectangle right here. And you want the other one to look just the same size. This one kind of gets cut off on his foot. If yours doesn't, then cool, I'll just connect it like this guy. And now I'm going to make another square shape, but this time you're not going to connect the bottom because we got to add the feet. So it's just going to be two straight lines down. So follow the line you did up on top connect it, follow the line on top, connect it, and go next door and do the same thing. Follow the line down, connect it, follow the line down and connect it. And then we're going to do rainbow lines for his feet. Ready? Woo! There's one, Woo! there's two, and then a straight line across to make his feet. And there you have it. We made our shapes guy, Mr. Shapes the Robot Man. The Robot Man. Now you can color it any way you like. As you can see, I have a boy version and a girl version here. All right, so I have like a pinky one and then I have this blue one. And you can color them any kind of way that you like, okay? All right, good job boys and girls.